Great time of the year for a lot of players. Disappointing time for others as lifelines are either um, not provided or the opposite. And for Thomas Bug, who's been through the systems at the Giants now and Melbourne, he was given exactly one of those at the Carlton Footy Club in the rookie draft. And um, he gets a chance to, at the third version of his AFL career, to um, make a fist of it again. And he's been good enough to join us on the show at eight minutes to one. Thomas, thanks for your time, mate. Andy Ashley, good to be here. Hey, when did you when did you know that um, you're on Carlton's radar? Um, probably a few weeks ago. I was actually in America at the time, and a manager called me um, and said that Soss and, and Brandon wanted to catch up. So I flew back pretty much ASAP, and um, I met with them, and they were you know really keen to, for me to come down and train with the club. And then you know from there, obviously had the opportunity to potentially join the club. And you know on Friday, I was lucky enough to get that opportunity, and just really grateful to, to be at a really good club. Can you talk us through how, what happened with Melbourne, Tom? Um, was it sort of mutual? Did they, they tap you on the shoulder? You, you thought you, it was over? How did it work? Um, I obviously thought I didn't have a lot of opportunities last year, so I thought uh, my time made me up. But, yeah, it was at the end of the year, they just told me they weren't going to continue on you know, with myself. So, um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty quick process, like a lot of other players have to go through. But, yeah, then my mind was just on, you know, what was next for me. So we're all, we, we, we listen to you talk about that and we see the fact that, you know, the first couple of years at Melbourne, you played you know, a lot of footy for them until the Callum Mills incident, Tom. And we're, we're, we out here on the other side of the fence and not walking around in your shoes, we say, oh, well, you must have been really badly affected by that and it kind of derailed your career and knocked your confidence around or whatever it did. Can you set it straight for us? What, what Did that have any kind of longer lasting impact on you? Um, I mean, initially it did. I, I had to, you know, obviously earn back trust and, and train really hard and I also missed six weeks of football, which is a large chunk of an AFL season. So, you know, for me, I, it was obviously the end of my season. Then I got back and played a couple of games in the VFL, but, you know, that year was probably, probably a bit of a write-off. Um, you know, I put in a really strong pre-season and then, you know, played, um, sort of played some really strong footy at the start of the season um, and then just didn't get the opportunity. But, you know, I was like a lot of other players, I guess, at the club. We had some, we were playing some really good footy um, so, you know, a lot of us players didn't get an opportunity. But for me, it, it was tough. Like, don't get me wrong, it was tough playing in the twos every week. But, you know, I just had to change my mindset. And on that was, you know, we played VFL finals and had the opportunity to play in the premiership. So, um, you know, my motivation was still strong there. Apart from the fact they've offered you a lifeline, what was the sell from Carlton as to why they think you should join them? Uh, I think they're just looking for, you know, some experienced players to come in and help lead the younger players. Um Plenty of energy, plenty of energy from, you know, the couple of weeks that I've been here, which is really good. And then obviously the leadership I can already see from, you know, Cripps and, um, and Sam. Um, and then just looking for some, you know, some other midfielders to help them guys out. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to, you know, potentially helping them out and, and playing a re- really strong role for the club. They've got a new high-performance manager, Andrew Russell, and not much happens without him knowing about it. Has you had the conversation with him yet about what he thinks you need to, to get fitter and better? Yeah, definitely. He had an immediate impact uh, when he comes straight in. Really, good, really strong character, and um, you know, taking real, really good leadership role at the club, which is obviously the high performance um, role. But yeah, no, initially we're, we're doing some different things that I haven't done before. Um, you know, really strict on you know being able to get the best out of ourselves. So you know, um, we've done a few different things at the moment, but I'm sure there's plenty left in store. So 25 years of age, 96 games behind it. You, you understand the game. You, you know what it takes to compete at this level, Tom. You played a lot of really good footy, um, you know, in that in the nearly 100 games that you played. What, what have you? What do you in the next five, six, seven years? What do you think you can bring to Carlton? What, what difference do you reckon you can make around the place? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like I've got a lot of experience. I've played at two different clubs, um, going to my third now. But I've played around. A lot of good players, so I think for me it's, it's around and what I've been able to build over the last what I've been able to build over the last two or three years is strong preparation to help me help uh, get the best out of myself. So you know, for me, I'm obviously looking to come in and play some really really good footy, and um, I feel like I'm really confident in that. Even in the last you know two months of VFL last year, I felt like I was really able to you know have impact on games again. Um, but yeah, I'm also looking for that you know, to help out the younger kids. They've got a lot of a lot of guys between 18 to 22 that are looking for some, um, you know, some role models. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can help um, steer them in the right way and then they can, you know, lead the club for the next 10 years. Carlton supporters need all the good news they can get, Tom. So tell me one player who's flying already. <laughs> one player who's flying. Oh, there's a lot of young kids going. Um, Sam, Sam Walsh coming for his first day today and he actually was really exciting to watch. Um, 
So obviously him, um, Cripps and Kerner are probably the two that stand out for me. I know Charlie's um, he's a special special player, but he's really caught my eye in the first couple of weeks. Tom, one just before I let you go, I reckon you know they're a they're a young developing group and. Um, but they've always struck me as being a relatively introverted group. You know, they're, they're not they're not loud. They're not in the face of opposition sides yet. Now, I think they're trying to change that. You've always had that. You've never been afraid of standing your ground and uh, being an antagonist when you've needed to be. Is that something that you think, just from a personality kind of trait, you can bring to a a group that probably needs a player or two like you? Yeah, definitely. If I can help any other player um, stand on the ground and believe in themselves, I'll definitely be doing that. But, yeah, as you said, I, I think what we need to do is put in a really strong pre-season and build that confidence and that belief. And then once we can do that, um, that'll transition into games. But, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to helping out some younger guys, um, you know, really believe in themselves and come out of the show. And there's probably a few blokes you recognise from the early days of your life as a giant. There'd be a few blokes who you're relatively uh, familiar with, I imagine. Yeah, I think there's half the list down. Right. <laughs> nah, there's a few, there's actually some really quality players like uh, Marchbank, um, Plowman, um, and then also yeah, Andrew Phillips as well. Like some really quality players down here. So you know, a few familiar faces which made it easier to fit in. Good luck, so, mate. Thanks for joining us. All the best. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Good on you, Tom Bug, who's gone to the Blues. Um, Good luck to an exciting time to be a blue bagger. Make sure you're bound by blue in 2019. Sign up, become a Carlton member today. Head to membership.carltonsc.com.au.